been a ride. I guess I had to go to that place to get to this one. Now, some of you might still be in that place. Welcome, everyone, to today's program. This is Deborah Tavares with StopTheCrime.net on the Rinse Radio Network. Today's program is going to be most important because we're going to be addressing the psychotronic weapons of mass mind control and what is occurring uh, with the stealing of our minds, the invasion of our brain, controlling of our thoughts, our emotions, and directing physical actions into unsuspecting human beings. Now, today I just found an announcement, and you can find it. It was produced. August the 6th of 2014, and it's entitled, The U.S. May Well Be Positioned to Make Transition to 5G Cellular Networks Report Find. And I'm going to bring on my most special guest today to discuss what the increased uh, transition to 5G cellular networks is about and how this fits in to the mind warfare. I'm very honored today to have uh, Dr. Preston James joining us. Uh, uh, Preston is a social psychologist with a doctorate from a major Midwest Big Ten University, and he retired from private practice in psychology and marriage family therapy after serving the community for over 35 years, during which time Preston uh, had many contacts with those associated with Intel and federal law enforcement. Currently, Preston is a columnist at the veteranstoday.com. You can watch and read his articles at www.veteranstoday.com. He's involved in research about the psychotronics or mind warfare currently being deployed in the community. Preston, I'd like to welcome you to the program and certainly have you comment about the increased direction that we're heading globally, actually, with this 5G network and what that means to mind warfare. Thank you for having me on. I'm not an expert on cellular. However, my understanding is is that every time there's a new system that's revealed, it uh, is more powerful, um, provides more penetration into brain tissues, and at the same time, it's accompanied by additional features that were not available before for the user, which makes it you know, very uh, uh, positive to the user and even uh, habit-forming for many. For example, if you go to any university and sit there you know, when classes let out, what you see is people will immediately start talking on their cell phones and even when they're walking with their friends, they won't talk with each other. They'll talk on their cell phones. I've sat in the lunchroom at, at universities. I've seen people come together, married people or, or uh, people that are engaged or going together, sit down and have lunch together and text the whole time to other people and not, not say one thing to each other. They'll That's sit, exactly you know. right. Well, I wanted to also talk about the fact that uh, we're seeing uh, very ultra-high tech for hive mining. Uh, the process to bring most uh, into a central psychotronic hive mind. Could you explain to the listeners what a psychotronic hive mining is? Right. Um, Of course, the the dream of of, uh, the secret shadow government, which was set up after um, World War II, really was a a, uh, gathering of the top intel people that wanted to get complete control over the population. And, of course, they were very well versed in um, Edward Bernays' methods of Wall Street advertising and and types of mind control that were acceptable then considered to be okay. So they they knew if you spent money on advertising, you would get a return in terms of increased sales. But what they wanted to do was to come up with the best science possible and create a scientific uh, um, fascist regime where people could be completely controlled. So what they did is they... Uh, they had various uh, policy study groups that were associated with the CFR. And what they did is they uh, 
hired scientists to look at various kinds of hiving behavior, such as in uh, you know, honeybees and, and birds, how birds could uh, migrate two or three or four thousand miles, end up you know within a ten square feet of where they left. They were very curious as to how this was done. And what they discovered was that uh, there are magnetic uh, molecules inside the brains of bees and birds that really serve as a little miniature um, GPS system. But but it does more than that because there <clears throat> there's a type of communication between the uh, bees and the uh, and the uh, hive and the queen bee, which is, is goes through a different dimension. It's a t quantum type of communication. And so what they wanted to do was to mimic this in people, isolate these chemicals, and then create the same kind of relationship with people to a central hive. And what they did was they found out that it was basically a quantum physics phenomena where if you have two... <clears throat> If you have two neutrons and one electron that's entangled, spinning in a, in a uh, around each one, <clears throat> each each neutron, so it's spinning in a figure eight around both of them, and then you, um, what, they have new quantum computers where they can uh, connect two computers maybe by 100 miles with a fiber optic, and they t can take and separate the neutrons, move <clears throat> one neutron away from the other, and what they found was the electron, the same electron kept circling both. So they then they thought, well, this has to be exceeding the speed of light to do this because it didn't slow down. So when they cut the fiber optic, they found out that the electrons still circled both both um, neutrons. And this was a shocking discovery because what it meant was is that the the uh, electron was going through some other dimension where there is no time and space as we normally think of it. And this is the whole quantum area. And this is what they've been spending literally billions of dollars on is to try to tap into this dimension and, and uh, some of the new communication systems that the military has that are very uh, beyond black top secret use this method to communicate. And, so we uh, have, we, we literally are being taken over by technologies that most people are even unaware exist. And what we're seeing of course is the proliferation of uh, cell towers, antennas, uh, smart meters, we're being told that the telecom industry needs either a cell tower or an antenna for every 75 homes in a urban area. So what we're saying here, um, Preston, is this correct, that yes, this is exactly. all setting You've us up? Yes, exactly. You've got it right. You've yeah, got it right. Yeah. If, if somebody took a week and spent your website and read every single thing on your website, I read most of it, people would be up to speed on this. It's an overwhelming amount of accurate information that you have. You've got by far the best website on this. But it's, it's, it's very, very well documented. And the, the thing about it is um, if people become informed of this, it actually creates motivation on their part to get involved at a local level to try to slow this down and stop it because – the, the smart meter, the smart meter um, situation is becoming a threat. It's it's not a lethal threat for everybody right now, but in the future it could be. And in, and of course, as we know, there's uh, companies that have been uh, raised up with with billions of dollars behind them to manage the smart meters. O A T I is one. Yeah, that's and, Odi, and actually we right. have that posted on our site right now. So for right. everyone who's listening, go to stopthecrime.net. Go to the home page where you'll see uh, radio or you'll see um, quick links, and then click on hot radio show topics. And you can read about OATI and Preston. This is alarming to know how many uh, national networks are now in place without uh, any of us knowing about it, and how it's done with low low profile and through grants and contracts. That well, that's is what, right. That's yeah. right. And the people that work there. Here's the sad part. A lot of the people that work there are foreigners. They drive big, expensive cars. They were paid lavish salaries. But they do not have a clue what the overall agenda is that they're working on. They're just, a lot of them are technicians and scientists, and they have a very narrowly defined role, and they do it. And they do not have a clue that the whole purpose of this network of smart meters, the ultimate purpose is not completely deployed that way now, but the ultimate purpose is to tranquilize uh, humans and selectively target humans and make them sick so that if a person becomes a dissident, they will target them with different levels of correction. And if that doesn't work, then they will generate various uh, debilitating and even lethal illnesses. That's the plan. It doesn't work on everybody, but it does work on a lot of people. 
Well, I can tell you this. We have a Fort Meade uh, Army document under the Source Document tab on the website, and it says this in quote, Every human is subject to the effects of microwave heating, and the predictability is 100%. Slow onset of such frequency heating can be unrecognized by the person being irradiated. And we're experiencing so many illnesses in our country now, uh, irritability, ringing of the ears, uh, tendinitis, uh, even bedwetting and, and uh, ADHD and autism. The list is not... It's not, it's not an ending list, actually, because uh, it is just what everyone is feeling, and they're going to Big Pharma to get the pills and all of the uh, toxic uh, drugs that doctors are unable to identify as being from the frequencies, and we're in grave trouble here. Now, you've got it right. It's, if you want to really tie this down, we'd have to look at it as a full or total spectrum attack on the human species, because... Uh, these people have targeted every single vulnerability. They've used the television. They used cable boxes. They've used uh, Blu-ray. They've used uh, Wi-Fi uh, computers. Anything that has any kind of emission can be used. Even your 120 AC current can be used to send through special waves that can entrain people's brains and, and create illnesses. So this is a total spectrum attack on the American people, and it's in the schools now. It, and it's in all the uh, stores, the retail stores. It's in many of the factories. Uh, and the people that are, are, are setting this up, in most cases, do not have a clue uh, what the overall agenda is. But the, the overall agenda is, uh, Deborah, is to tie this whole thing together into a centrally controlled system, which will be controlled by substations like OATI substations, but all tied into the new NSA computer called Vesuvius at Bluffdale, Utah. And many people have experienced two things this summer. They've experienced ringing in their ears and uh, headaches, and they've also experienced weird phone difficulties, dialing numbers that are, we, they dial a correct number but get a wrong number. They have a phone call that's cut off. They have echo. They have uh, phone calls where they answer it and no one's there. This is all due to the all phones in the United States have now been transferred over to uh, central control at Bluffdale. So uh, they're constantly scanned and tapped by this large quantum computer. It's the largest quantum computer in the world. If uh, if something is said that, that uh, is, is on a, a red list, then it triggers that to a higher level of management where it can <clears throat> be uh, transcribed or it can go to a live ear at a fusion center. But the bottom line is, is everything is being matrixed now. People are being matrixed for risk. Risk. If they say certain things, their phone call will be cut off. We've had numerous people complaining that they've had phone calls cut off for nothing. But the bottom line is it's total spectrum control using the, the full light and electronic uh, radiation spectrum to get control over the populace because the people running things, it's only a handful. It's less than 20 people that run things, the top policymakers. And they're very afraid because the Internet is a new Gutenberg press your website and other websites like it are causing tremendous problems for them. So they're running a race. They know they only have so much time to get control and to successfully hive the uh, humans. If they do not do it successfully, they know they're toast. And we're running a, a tremendous race here. And so far, the American people have been gaining on them every month. So we're at maximum risk now that they're going to either stage another false flag attack or, or cut the water off or the food or do something drastic to try to regain balance and get more control. Well, that's absolutely And I think what many people are faced with right now is the smart meters being deployed upon their properties, and they're really not understanding the overall intention of the smart grid. And I know that it is a, a mesh grid network for, of frequencies uh, that has been planned to structure our thought patterns of everyone that has a smart meter. And this is a global deployment. And uh, it's through the smart meters and all disguised as promoting new energy efficiency. Of course, we know it's actually set up for spying behavior modification programs and hooked up to fusion centers, spatial recognition software, uh, HD cameras in stores and schools, as you mentioned, Preston, attached to pulse beam microwave emitters to entrain our moods and block our thoughts. Now, I wanted to um, ask you, uh, this is a, a very concerning 
uh, question and a problem I think we all face because we're seeing increased um, shootings in our communities. And I'm referring now to the Aquarius Operations Briefing. It is a document that we do have on the homepage of StompTheCrime.net. That's and right. Actually, I, I gave that to you. And you did. And I yeah. want to thank you for that yeah. because certainly everyone needs to understand the enormous amount of chemical sedation from the air, water, and food supply that was planned for many, many decades and how then the radio waves and frequencies for mass mind control would be able to uh, literally take our minds over as we become more malleable from all of the poisons and toxins. And this document, uh, as you know, Preston, talks about how they will be able to queue up selected people within the population and literally take over their bodily function and their thoughts and cause them to become assassins in high population zones. Could you comment to that? Because we're seeing increased crime, and I'm, I'm thinking at this point that most all crime now is being um, literally fomented by these assaults with the second Well, you're right. Weapons. Crime is, in, is, is engineered socially um, and electronically, but uh, basically the powers to be are making billions of dollars every year off the prison industry. We have the largest one in the world, and they know that if they, yes, the U.S. government brings in 95% of the illegal drugs. They know that if they bring drugs in and, and sell weapons uh, to gangbangers, but they know that they can destroy most cities and create a tremendous crime problem. And they know that the prisons themselves will feed this. So they want a huge uh, crime problem so that they can provide the solution and get more power. Um, but what is happening is <clears throat> Um, during Vietnam, they tested many of these new these MK Ultra methods. There are many sub uh, sub programs. They're still doing it. They claim the CIA claimed when it got caught that they stopped, but they didn't. They just changed the names. One of the big plans now is got Slammer, where it's uh, psychotronic harassment of whistleblowers. But there were many um, what's called sleeper agents, MK Ultra sleeper agents, and they had different methods to do this. Uh, the, the original ones were they what called soul murder, where they would um, smash their soul with tor with uh, unbelievable types of torture, like like driving nails under their fingernails, electronic torture, and various things, and uh, subjecting them to extended periods of uh, isolation, and pr actually fracturing their soul into different pieces so they could create sub personalities. Yes, and, and they, they did that, and they're doing that, and right. have done that with sex. And on right, our website, right. uh, Preston and I spoke with you about this. Um, document that we literally have posted on the top of StopTheCrime.net, and it's about Project Monarch and Nazi mind control. It's a 13-page document. I would recommend everybody read that to understand the degree of mind control and brainwashing that has already occurred. Now, I'm also very, very concerned about what I'm, I'm seeing in the community with targeted individuals. Can I just finish one thing? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, as far as the, it started out with the going postal, people in the post office where they tested it, but now they have made sure there are hundreds of these sleepers out there that can be activated remotely. Most of them are now on psychotropic drugs like SSRIs, and uh, Prozac had a very bad track record, but it was released anyway because they suppressed all the negative re research and only cherry-picked the good, the good ones, but but. That's a, that's the formula. Every time you get some school shooting, a spy psychiatrist is in the background that's been feeding kids SSRIs and, a, and usually a cocktail of drugs. But these kids can be remotely activated electronically, so you're correct on that. Well, what we're also uh, aware of, too, is that there's even drugs for children that have difficulty in math. So the desire to put everyone on drugs is fierce at this point, and we know that now with the new Common Core curriculum, they're even putting clinics in schools now uh, to more easily dispense these uh, drugs for ultimate mind control. And uh, what we're seeing too, uh, Preston, and I know you agree, is the brainwashing has been occurring for now so long that so few people even realize that we have a de facto government run by corruption and uh, it doesn't exist under a constitution where we have continually people believing that all they have to do is vote in new people. So that is the level of mind control that has already been um, enveloped over the globe, essentially. And that's a huge concern because now what we're seeing on this new battlefield 
in the United States with these silent weapon uh, weapon systems and weapons at the speed of light um, targeting people are literally targeted individuals that are being seriously injured and harmed by these directed energy weapons. And we're being told when these people talk to us about this that they're feeling, uh, you know, that they're hearing voices in their head, that we should uh, look at them with disdain and figure that they're just a mental case, when in fact these are very serious problems and they're, they're contributing to very serious medical problems as well. And I know you've worked on this, so I'd like you to expound about the targeted individuals to the audience. Right. <clears throat> I, <clears throat> I've worked with a number of in individuals that were, in every case, that they ran into trouble with the government and said no to the government, but one individual was married to a monarch slave who would disappear on missions and whatever, and and when she was home, his family was attacked psychotronically to keep him in a weakened state so that he couldn't do anything. I went over here, I measured the uh, emissions, I have equipment to do so, and so so this is real. Another case that's not very well known, but uh, there was a, a, a businessman that traveled all over the world, and when he came home, uh, the CIA usually jumps people after the third trip, but they jumped him and said, all right, um, we want you to gather information for us on these trips to, to give us notes. So that worked for a while. He, he said, fine, I'll tell you who I meet with and whatever. After a while, he said, no, we want you to plant bugs now in their offices. And he said, no, wait a second, I'm not a spy. That's, you're putting me in a situation where I could, you know, I could be arrested and, and executed for you know, espionage in a foreign country. I'm not doing that. And they said, oh, yes, you are. And so he said, no, I'm not. So then uh, after a while at home, he would come home from work, close his door, and he, he would hear dice rolling in, inside his head and all kinds of things. So he, he put himself in the psych ward, thought he was cracking up, and uh, passed all the tests and, uh, and, and, and then came home. And then what happened is uh, he was referred to somebody that had experience in this um, who had worked for the CIA and said, listen, I will testify for you in court. You need to sue the CIA. Here's who's doing it to you, and I will be a witness. So we actually had a former CIA person that was a witness and had made out an affidavit and been uh, deposed and, and went to court and sued the CIA. So when it got to court for the lawsuit, Stanley Spork, and I think it was the attorney from the CIA, called up and uh, told the judge, quashed it under national security, so the case went nowhere. Yeah, that's what we're finding with lawsuits because we don't have the judiciary system that serves us. And sadly, uh, that is our reality. We're going to continue with this on the other side of the break. Thank you. Known worldwide as the most consistently fascinating, informative, and unique program on radio, the Jeff Rents program can be yours to listen to anytime, anywhere, whenever you want to hear it. For pennies a day, our subscribers can download any of Jeff's thousands of programs featuring a treasury of newsmakers, researchers, eyewitnesses, and incredible subjects, all in MP3, commercial-free, crystal-clear, 56-bit digital sound, and take these often unforgettable programs with them wherever they go. As a subscriber, you can also listen live at airtime, online, anywhere in the world, or browse through our archives of over 6,000 hours of legendary broadcasts. Subscribe now by taking the link at the top of Rents.com and enrich your mind with the most unique panorama of vital information and the best independent, honest journalism in radio. Look for the Subscribe Now link on Rents.com and give yourself the knowledge you need for these unprecedented times. Scientists in England have succeeded in stabilizing the time-honored substance in garlic that destroys harmful bacteria, viruses, molds, yeast, and fungus. This all-natural microbe killer is called Allison C, and it's now available to you in 100% vegetarian capsules only on the New Earth page at Rents.com. This powerful broad-spectrum antimicrobial agent is harmless to friendly bacteria and has been concentrated to equal an astonishing 35 cloves of garlic in each vegetarian capsule. Think about it. The antibacterial, antiviral strength of 35 odorless cloves of garlic in just one capsule. Allison C is so effective it even destroys Superbug MRSA in test after test. 
Allison C. is truly an incredible advance in natural medicine. And with the threats of bacterial and viral diseases and pandemics growing, no home should be without it. Learn more and order Allison C. on the New Earth page at rents.com. Have you heard about Life Change Tea? Major talk show hosts, celebrities, and many others have been talking about the benefits of Life Change Tea. Not a fad, but a choice to enhance your health with an all-natural, non-decaffeinated, non-sugar energy drink that you make at home. For about a dollar a day, you can benefit your health in a way you've never dreamed of. That's why the buzz. Join those who have made the choice for better health. Taste the drink that is changing lives. Read the testimonies at GetTheTea.com. Want to order? Need to order? Log on to GetTheTea.com. Appropriate name, I might add. That's GetTheTea.com. Or call 928-308-0408. That's 928-308-0408. Say no to sickness and disease. Get your power of health back, but you need to order. GetTheTea.com. Helps with cholesterol, liver disease, Crohn's disease, digestive problems, and much more. That's GetTheTea.com. Now, Preston, uh, just prior to the break, uh, we were talking about uh, filing lawsuits, and I just uh, posted on our website uh, today, again, Go to StopTheCrime.net, go to the quick links, and then click on Hot Radio Show Topics, and you will find a lawsuit that was filed by uh, Richard Kane versus the United States government and the Department of Defense and other government agencies and medical facilities about the human research violations and the unimaginable torture that uh, uh, Mr. Kane and his uh, children have endured. But I think it's important to note, and I think you might, may agree with me, uh, Preston, that uh, the lawsuit, as you said, will likely be thrown out based on national security claims by the perpetrator, the de facto U.S. Inc. government. And I would really recommend that everybody read The Great American Adventure, Secrets of America, by retired Judge Dale, to learn that our local, state, and federal governments are not real. They are all privately owned corporations calling themselves government. And attorneys know the court system does not serve the people and knowingly continue to extract money from clients who believe they are represented in a judiciary system, and they're not. And it's important to know, and Judge Dale will confirm this, that judges are privately employed administrators called judges, and the law is nothing more than their corporate regulations statutes. So we're really in an illusion of our reality and in a virtual reality where uh, everything is made up, everything is being orchestrated for us, and we're not, uh, we're in, we're in such denial and such uh, mind control already, Preston, that it's really hard to express the level and the enormity of what we face. Well, you're 100% right, 100%, and here's the thing is many of the judges are human compromised and blackmailed, That's bought right. off and controlled. But I wanted to mention one more thing about the hiving of America, that we know that the, the, the design is to do it psychotronically with a full-spectrum deployment, not just one thing, but a multimodal, full-spectrum deployment from every possible angle. The, the one missing piece of the puzzle that most people haven't put together is the fact that an essential part of this is the chemtrail spring, the various exotic nanoparticles, uh, which are actually quite toxic, which are sprayed, will uh, be inhaled by people, will be eaten in their food, in their water, and, and a lot of this stuff goes through most water filters and will end up in their bloodstream and will cross the blood-brain barrier and then will be flashed in the brain through these high-tech uh, quantum means. So what we have is a, a situation where you have a, a an illegal renegade black operations force, which is using its own private fleet of defense contract aircraft over much of the free world, spraying these things almost every day. We no longer have blue skies anymore. We have 
uh, white cloudy skies. And this right there is the key thing. If people can see that, that we're being poisoned above, and it isn't just enough that it's toxic, they have, there's a long-term plan to use this as the keystone to the full-scale psychotronic attack on us. Well, Preston, I was looking at a book, and it is a free download on our website. Uh, it's called Mind Control uh, by Lincoln Lawrence, and it's uh, Were We Controlled? And um, I looked at this. This was written in the mid-60s, and uh, there, a Russian scientist is divulging the fact that they can use electrical impulses of any kind to influence human behavior. And he said, consider the, these revelations from a report titled The Effect of Electricity on the Human Body by the World Meteorological Organization. And this is what they say. Behavior. Traffic accidents raised 700 to zero on days of high electrical charging in the atmosphere due to weather. And industrial accidents jumped 200 to zero over ordinary days, and pain for chronically ill patients um, increases twice as much as they would normally experience, and amputees double their complaints of pain. And this is just what you were saying. This is what they're doing in the atmosphere with the chemtrailing. And also, uh, this is, of course, we know, redundant systems that are being deployed on us, as you said, from every single angle, and this is full spectrum dominance, and what we know is these climate action plans that they're deploying globally that require smart meters in all of our homes, require Energy Star RFID chipped appliances, and they're basing all of this, Preston, on the fact that we've got to sidestep global warming and change the climate. And that is the level of mind control that everyone is under. People are honestly believing, and our cities are right now already adopting these policies that are based on scientific fraud. You've got that 100% right, and, it, and it, it's a huge lie, too. And Agenda 21 is all based on this lie, and most of uh, these, these cities and counties that have signed on to Agenda 21 they have no clue. They just know that if they sign on the dotted line, they get all kinds of lavish government aid packages, free trips, you know, to Washington and all these things. They have no clue that they've signed on to the destruction of all suburban areas, and the only thing will be left and allowed under Agenda 21 is 10% of the population alive in cities with no private cars and maybe a bicycle if you're lucky. Well, that's absolutely true, and... For everyone that's listening, there's another document that I think is very important for you to look at, and it's entitled The Avery, and it talks about the key players of the 1980s and 90s and how artificial telepathy research occurred then. And The Avery is a group of key scientists, military men, and intelligent agents who share an intense interest in telepathy, mind control, and the creation of psychotronic weapons. Now, I know that what we're talking about is really over the top for many people to understand, Preston, and people wonder what on earth can they do about it. I mean, people have children and grandchildren, and we're heading into a world that is not at all uh, what people have been led to believe that still remain in the illusion. And I think the longer that we remain in this illusion, we are in exceedingly increased danger, and the system is becoming much more predatory and uh, far more hazardous. And again, it is full spectrum dominance, as you were saying. Well, you're, you're right on that. And the interesting thing is, these people have not won. And actually, a lot of them are at the very top of the pyramid are afraid because uh, there is a constant battle between we the people and these tyrants, a handful of tyrants. And, you know, they still remember the French Revolution, what happened. Uh, they know that that uh, if they lose control over the major mass media, it's over for them. And the alternative media on the, on the worldwide Internet has become a huge threat to them. Uh, if 12% of the people turn against them, they know it's over. Right now we're at 10%. And things can come unglued very fast. So... What they're probably going to do is keep turning the thumbscrews down on us with 
cutting the food off, cutting the water off, the old Kissinger solution, declare war through food and water and disease. So the fact that Ebola has now appeared on the scene, that doesn't surprise me at all. That's just another type of blackmail. And I think basically the message is is to to our government officials, you either get control or we're going to start releasing this. Yep, that's absolutely correct. Well, we're up against a break, and we're eager to get back and discuss Ebola for a moment or two. Thank you, Preston. Whether your alleged government has told you or not, America has been receiving nearly nonstop airborne radiation in one form or another from Fukushima for three years in March. And now with the radioactive polluted mass of the Pacific Ocean about to hit the entire West Coast, you must prepare yourself. The tragedy of Chernobyl resulted in the development of one of the most potent fighters of radiation poisoning known. It's called BioAge Superfood a blend of the four most powerful immune-building, radiation-protecting, Chernobyl-proven algaes on the planet. Grown in Kamchatka and imported to the U.S., I have taken BioAge Superfood for nearly three years and would never be without it. Go to BioAge.com, mention Rents, and get 10% off this essential immune-building product. That's BioAge.com, and mention Rents for a 10% discount. BioAge.com. When you think of getting old, what comes to your mind? Spending the last years of your life in a nursing home? Staring out a window? Medicated to keep you docile? Not able to recognize your own kids? Suffering with some dreaded disease until you die all alone? Well, think again. One of the premier doctors in the world, Dr. James Forsyth, wrote the book Anti Aging Cures. Life-changing secrets to reverse the effects of aging. Your key to the real fountain of youth. And Suzanne Summers, the perpetual face of eternal youth, wrote the foreword. As mentioned in the book, Royal Velvet is the most cost-effective, easiest, and complete way to reverse the effects of aging. It's true. So, do you want glowing skin, less wrinkles, thicker hair, less gray hair, your hormones balanced, improved memory, a toned physique, greater energy, less pain and stiffness, as well as benefits too numerous to name? Go to RoyalVelvetNow.com. Click on the rinse icon in the upper right-hand corner, and within a couple of days, you can be on the path to youthful living. RoyalVelvetNow.com. Your life will never be the same. This is Richard Ostro, owner for Carnivora Research International. In 1985, former President Ronald Reagan requested that Carnivora be sent directly to the White House from Europe, where it was manufactured at the time, effectively making him the first American to use Carnivora. He used it successfully for a serious immune challenge, which we are prohibited from mentioning in the United States. I would like to add that he used Carnivora approximately eight years prior to the onset of his Alzheimer's condition for those of you inadvertently connecting the two events. Visit us at Carnivora.com, now used in 27 countries around the world. Carnivore instinctively seeks out abnormal cells only that don't belong in the body without harming a single normal cell. 100% pure, natural, and harmless to humans and animals. Call 1-866-VENUS-FLY. That's 1-866-VENUS-FLY or visit Carnivora.com. Your immune system will thank you. Prior to the break, uh, we mentioned uh, the Ebola, and Preston, we have had on the homepage of StopTheCrime.net for quite some time now a document which we call the NASA War Plan. And when you look at that document on page 52, uh, it talks about a silent weapons system, the use of bioweapons and the possibilities of bioweapons. And it lists a number of things. The first thing it talks about is aflatoxin, which is a fungus that grows uh, to produce poison that causes cancer. And the next thing it talks about is airborne varieties of germ warfare. And it says Ebola. And it says the Lassa viruses. And then it also talks about the use of binary agents distributed via imported products, such as vitamins, 
clothing, and food, just exactly what we've been talking about. It mentions genes and how the genes uh, will be targeted with pathogens either uh, through uh, and to individuals or to a complete society, as as well as they talk about the long-term fingerprintless campaign that this will uh, allow versus a shock and awe, meaning bombs and guns and bullets. So this is a planned and has been a long-term fingerprintless campaign. And um, the U.S. government even has patents that we have discovered now about the Ebola virus. But um, I wanted to have you comment about that if you had any more information on the Ebola. I know that they're using it as kind of a, as a psyops also. We never know for sure the degree of their capability of creating a pandemic, but we know that we're under mass attack uh, with psychological warfare as well. In fact, I'm going to mention everyone should watch uh, PsyWar on YouTube, uh, P-S-Y-W-A-R on YouTube, to understand how this has been systematically initiated and why we're having the conversation that we're having today because this has been a redundant layer of of, of programs and systems. So do you have anything to add about the Ebola uh, virus? Well, just just the rumors that they worked very hard at Fort Detrick uh, uh, Army Biological Weapons Lab to combine Ebola with the common cold virus and with smallpox, and apparently they were successful in both of those. Um, The combination with smallpox is extremely nasty, and uh, that could be delivered, you know, from helicopters flying over a city or in subways or whatever. It's designed to get out of hand very fast and spread. Um, so we really don't know what this Ebola is, but uh, we know that uh, that our government has spent a lot of money developing many different kinds of organisms, organisms they can release. They have various plans that if they lose control, outside every major city in years past they used to have... Uh, special aircraft and helicopters designed to spray. They had three kinds of gases in case of, this was during the Vietnam riots where it started. They had, the first was was um, uh, barbiturate gases that would put people to sleep for a number of hours. The second one was BZ, like boy zebra, which is a strong hallucinogenic, which was tested in Vietnam. People became so crazy, they did it to create super soldiers, and the soldiers became so violent they killed each other, so that failed. The third gas they had canisters of was VX, like uh, very um, X, and VX is, is extremely lethal. That was um, sprayed in Vietnam to try to eradicate the prisoners of war. They didn't want any of them talking about the drugs and the secret wars in the Cambodian Laos. So the government has always had backup routines to do this. However, what's happening is um, as people become more and more informed, um, it, this poses a huge problem because, as you mentioned, they want no fingerprints. Secrecy is paramount. If they lose secrecy, once the public is informed, it's only a matter of time and it's over for them, and they know this and they're frightened of it. And we're getting to that point now where the public is finding out, and and once the public finds out, you're going to find open rebellion inside these hierarchies. In the past, people kept their mouth shut, did what they were supposed to do because they didn't want to lose their job. They wanted the retirement. But now as retirements are being stolen from them, they're not getting them anyway, there's a point where people are just not going to care anymore and they're not going to put up with it. So all these big police organizations like Homeland Security and the Fusion Centers, they're like leaky sieves now. They can't keep anything secret anymore. Everything is leaking out. There is no more secrecy. And people uh, have no respect for them. Very few people working there have any respect. This is dangerous long-term to their success, to their mission, because the point is coming when um, they will collapse. And so that's why they're moving very quickly. They know there's a race on. And, and this is t- right now, during the next year or two, is extremely dangerous for the Americans. So we better stand up together as a group. And if people believe in God, they better pray every day, and they better uh, stay close to their families, get to know their neighbors, set up neighborhood watches, and they better be ready for anything. Well, that's absolutely right, because what uh, I know many are most concerned about is the fact that once they're able to literally intrude uh, into our brain, in fact, there's an important YouTube um, called Wires in the Brain by Rodolfo Lina, so that people understand 
how long they have been working on brain entrainment and the level in which nanoparticulates and nanotubes now play in that. But they, they're shaping our attitudes and they're creating compulsions that normal people would never have. And they are increasing uh, violence in the streets, as, as we have discussed. And in the NASA war document, Preston, on page 43, speaking about aerosols, it talks about the use of a micron-sized mechanized dust, which is distributed as an aerosol and when inhaled into the lung. It bores into our lung tissue and executes various pathological missions. And they say this is a completely new class of weaponry, and it is legal. So when you, you hear this double speak, this type of atrocity being legal, I think the first uh, realization that many people need to really evaluate is, is do we have a representative government? Because when we're being sprayed every day uh, by chemtrails, we're finding greater deployment of um, cell towers. In fact, everyone needs to go to antennasearch.com and type in your address and find out how many cell towers and antennas are nearest you. These are weapons and Wi-Fi hotspots, and now Wi-Fi in the school for our children. You're exactly right, Preston. They are uh, now taking over our children in the school, and by and large, they have taken over much of the population. But I think deep down, people realize uh, just intuitively that something's really wrong. We just have to keep getting this kind of information out. Well, it's not over yet, and and there is something that, that's infinite about the human spirit. And as you know, the Revolutionary War, only 3% fought, and were able to stop the British, and the British never forgave us for it, and they're behind a lot of these because the, you know, they, not only do they have uh, a phony government installed in the United States of America now when they, when they uh, passed the phony Federal Reserve Act, that was the start of a phony bought government, but they also have, you know, phony money, too. So everything is a fraud, and people are starting to catch on. People want honest money. They want honest government. They want honest judges, and they want representative government. And the people in power now are very frightened because they know their days are numbered because of the Internet. Unless they censor the Internet or knock it out, it's over for them within 10 years. They know this. And so they're moving. They're going for broke. They're, they never in history has anyone been so desperate or moved so hard against the people. Well, what about all the operational robots that we know they have stored in their underground uh, cities and bases and all of the super soldiers that they have created through um, the engineering of, of humans? Right. The truth is they don't work very well. All these things can be hacked. They, they had all these drones in the Middle East. Many of them have been hacked and stolen and crashed. All these robots can be reprogrammed and hacked. It's a huge liability. The only one that made any money off it were the manufacturers. The defense contractors for years have have uh, told big tales about how great their stuff is. It never performs like they claim. All these plans, most of them just don't work like they claim. We've never had one defense system yet that worked as claimed. The new F-22 fighter uh, the subcontracted the parts out the oxygen system puts the pilots to sleep, so many of them have refused to fly it. A lot of these things are great on paper. They're really wonderful sounding, but they just don't work. Well, that's interesting because as a builder, there were many designs that we t attempted to build on from paper, and they didn't work either. So I could say that there is hope here for everyone that's listening. Don't take this information and become so overwhelmed that you do not participate because... The most important aspect of what you're hearing is to not give your consent, and that means to refuse uh, contracts that come your way from your cities. Don't engage, and get this information out far and wide, and I think, Preston, you hit it on the head. Uh, get to know your neighbors. Get to know your community. It's up to us now to uh, live in right conduct going forward and create the kind of environment that we want to live in so that this spreads, so that this evil that's um, really rearing its ugly head can be suppressed because with knowledge, uh, we have power. And I think that's the most important thing to convey, wouldn't you? You're exactly right, and I want to thank you for all you're doing. I love your website, and uh, I think if people spend the time and go there, they can you know, learn about it. The more information they have, the more they can counter this at a local level. Well, that's absolutely right. Now, how can people um, uh, see what you're doing uh, and if you have 
some direct links or so forth I'd like yeah, to Yeah, just go to Veterans Today and, and do search for Preston James, and they can view my articles. Some of the stuff is fairly esoteric, and some of it's written for retired intel people. But um, I think if they really want to know about psychotronics, they can learn more from your website reading the articles you have there. They can get a, a very, very good background, better than, than most people would work on these things because these are so compartmented. Many of the people working on these projects only know one small part. They don't know the whole picture. Your website has the full picture. Well, I want to ask you because um, uh, a while back, uh, Lynn Segala, who has, has, um, is a whistleblower, and she was a, a, a bioelectromagnetic scientist, and she joined many of her colleague, colleagues in devoting her career to warning the public about carcinogenic mutagenic effects of radiation to which the public has been secretly and purposefully exposed by corporate criminals and corrupt public paid officials. Have you heard from her lately? We aren't able to reach her. No, I haven't. Okay. Well, I want to thank you, Preston, for joining the program today. Uh, I'll uh, enjoy having you back here in the near future. I think that we've got to keep getting this information out to the public so that we can... Thank you again. Anyway. In 2007, one man, Mike Dillard, made five predictions which forecasted the 2008 economic crisis and the pending Eurozone collapse. Three brand new, shocking, must watch videos with predictions for the coming year. www.the3videos.com. Over the past year, Mike Dillard has helped thousands of ordinary people create and recover wealth by tapping into the black box investing strategies the big banks don't want you to know about. www.the3videos.com As the European banking system implodes and governments collapse at breakneck speeds, the next 12 months will be the most anticipated and important months in modern human history. This will make 2008 look like a walk in the park. Everyone will be affected. Go to www www.the3videos.com now. Learn how to prepare your family and prosper during the global financial collapse. Known worldwide as the most consistently fascinating, informative, and unique program on radio, the Jeff Rents program can be yours to listen to anytime, anywhere, whenever you want to hear it. For pennies a day, our subscribers can download any of Jeff's thousands of programs featuring a treasury of newsmakers, researchers, eyewitnesses, and incredible subjects, all in MP3, commercial-free, crystal-clear, 56-bit digital sound, and take these often unforgettable programs with them wherever they go. As a subscriber, you can also listen live at airtime, online, anywhere in the world, or browse through our archives of over 6,000...